Uh, today we are going to talk about how to teach your child to deep clean their room. Now, I don't clean my children's room on a daily basis, but I do four times a year every season. I do come in and help them clean out the room. And what we usually do is we make these, and these are actually like aprons. Hi, Esther. Yes. These are like aprons, and they could, um, this time we're actually hanging them on the door, but you can wear them around your waist. Now the first thing that I like for my children to do when they deep clean their room is take off the seats. Yes. So we want to take all those bed sheets off and we want to wash them. Pillows, we want to clean it all, wash them all. Because you sleep and you, yep, and you sweat. And the bed sheet would take hours before you go to bed. And yes, it's, it's dirty so it's a good time. Yep. Take down drapes. Or curtains, yes. You want to take them down if you can, if they're washable, and also throw them in the washer. If they are not, so you can't get them down, then you can also just dust them. And they get very really dusty. Yes, they do get dusty. See, cobwebs, spider webs, and um, anything that's stuck to your wall. Yes, yes. <laughs> you want to get all those spider webs and the spiders out of your room. Wash windows. Yep. Now get messy there. Yes. Like mirrors and desks. You can even um, wash uh, drawers and more yeah. things. Yeah, you want to clean inside your drawers. That's correct. Clean and organize your drawers. If you have a desk, you want to wipe your desk and you want to open it up and see what is needed and what is not. Organize closets. Yes. So for organizing closets, we have like these garbage cans and we put garbage bags in. One says um, donate right here and then garbage over there and my kids fill it up. Usually the donation one is filled up more than the garbage which is good. And this is, yeah, so you want to also just um, see what you need and what you don't. If you overgrew it or um, or if it's destroyed and yeah. you need anymore. Or if you never wear it. Yeah, if you never wear it, this is the time to think of donating it and letting someone else wear it. Who needs it? Yeah, who needs it? Yeah. Clean toy box. Yes. I just think that. Yes, so clean toy box if you have little ones like us. We have little ones and the girls and share their rooms. And so, um, toy box, this is a great time if toys are broken, you get rid of them. You know, if toys are not being played with, then you can also. Um, Get rid of them and share them with others. Clean under your bed. That gets messy. Yes. Little candy wrappers, all kinds of little things can be found under bed. So it's a great time to um, clean and make sure underneath your bed is clean. Move furniture and vacuum. Yes. So this is where mommy and daddy comes in and they can act, they help with moving the bed or heavy things. Esther did move, a to, um, not the toy box, but Barbie house. Barbie house. She moved the Barbie house on her oh, own. Sure. Yes, so you can move that. You can also move the furniture and then vacuum that area, put the furniture back, and then move on. So you don't have to move everything at once. You can move, yeah. And then, I think the last one. All done. Good job. Enjoy your clean room. Yes. For as long as it lasts. Yes, for however long it lasts. So, you, you know, when they're done, they rip it, they throw it away, they feel accomplished. Um, this is a great way for them to know where do you start. To know you don't vacuum first and then you do the cobwebs because then you get dust and things again on the floor. So this is kind of a good way for them to know how to really effectively clean their room. Um, and then we're, I'm going to show you, or Esther's going to show you how to make these. These are super, super simple and easy to make. So again, they can wear it as an apron, um, or they can hang it on their door, whatever they prefer. So what are you doing, Esther? So she's, she's getting three. So you want to get three. Okay, so we're only getting um, two sheets of threes, and it will actually be four. So there's four different tasks that you can write down. So she's folding it in half, right? Yes. And you want to staple the second one. Good job. Good job. And so she stapled the second one. You 
want to put a thread in between and then you want to write stuff and if you're writing with a marker you want to actually uh, make sure that you're not writing on the marker with all of them together because then it's going to bleed through. So on this black um, table it was fine to write on, on, on top, you know, but other times you would put a book in between. And then, yeah, just deep clean your room, make it more livable and more clean. Um, thanks for watching.